Okay, so let me explain about the scratch, okay? The, the scratch is a bad word, but it's the word used all over the world because when it was originally uh, discussed, uh, they, they seemed to get a higher baby rate in women that had a previous failure. And they theorized, and it was popular all around the world, theorize that if you create inflammation in the uterine lining, that you will uh, increase the ability of the embryo to implant because of that inflammation. And that's the stupidest thing in the world. I mean, that is the popular theory and it's totally wrong. We all know that you want to avoid any inflammation in that uterine lining to have the highest chance of the embryo implanting and having a successful pregnancy. But what Dr. DeRosa did was something unique, and he's the one that, that really uh, pioneered this, and most of the world of IVF doctors aren't aware of this, really. It, it's a, Because control studies show that the way they would do uterine scratches, it didn't make any difference in success rate. But here's what he does, and I do it too because he taught me this. If you use that pipel, that little uterine scratch catheter, not just to make an irritation, but actually do a a very mild curatage with it. So you do many passes. You can't do any damage. It's not like a regular DNC uh, a curatage. It, it, you can't do damage to the lining that way. But then he would do a hysteroscopy after doing the scratch. He doesn't have to do that now. And he would look inside and it was amazing. This wasn't an irritated uterus the way he did it. It was a beautiful looking clean uterus as though it had a perfect DNC without any damage to the endometrial stem cells. And so those women wound up having a brand new uterine lining. And what he did was the opposite of inflammation. He got rid of whatever subtle chronic inflammation was already there. I'll go a little further. The human animal is the only animal that depends for embryo implantation on having a clean brand new uterine lining every month. I mean, most animals don't menstruate, humans are unique, and there's got to be a reason why humans menstruate every month. A human embryo depends on that to implant. The human embryo really needs a fresh new uterine lining every month. So that's what this scratch, it's a bad word for it, but that's what this scratch is doing. It's giving you a brand new uterine lining. Furthermore, there might be a chronic infection that we're not aware of. We send it to pathology, and if there is a chronic low-grade infection, which you would never know clinically, uh, then you go on antibiotics for a month or two before the embryo gets transferred. And so it, it's a way of increasing the baby rate, although it's controversial around the world because most of the world doesn't understand the way Dr. DeRosa does it, and I do. Mm -hmm.